Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tor and this is Anthropology. Thank you for joining me in today's video. This will just be a quick little shopping vlog around Vancouver. My partner and I had some time before we were going to a dinner with some friends and we went to Old Renfrew. So here over the walkway you can see the Loewe Paula's collection. They have quite a bit of product and I love how they did the theme with you know, all the little cactuses and the white. So this is Hold Renfrew. It's our main department store, I guess, that I go to in Vancouver. And they had these weird, like, acrylic things, and they were so expensive, like, $1,000 for an acrylic Nike Jordan shoe. I don't know. Okay, first stop, Mew Mew. This is the new Mew Mew Mini Wander Bag. I'm really interested in this bag. It's very similar to the Ava. It's like hobo style. The one thing is that the shoulder hole is a bit too small, but it does come with a longer strap that you can wear cross body if you so want. I don't really like how it looks like that. Um, I'd probably just carry a top handle. The leather is super buttery soft Napa lambskin leather and the price around 2,700 Canadian is okay. It fits quite a bit, actually. It fits like my full phone, which is the iPhone 11. Also comes in this really cute pink, and then other variety of colors like yellow, white, teal, navy, and brown, but in store they just had these three. I really like the yellow color. It's super bright, it's like a canary yellow. I feel like it would go really well with my other yellow oh. bags. Oh, I like the yellow. <laughs> Ooh. This is the larger size in this, I believe it's called Cameo Beige. It doesn't come with a shoulder strap, so it's just um, shoulder. This bag is very reminiscent to the Bottega Jody and the Mini Jody. The same vibes, but obviously Mimi's version. All right, next up is Dior. I rarely go to Dior, but I figured that why not go today? So they had these really cute mini Lady Dior's in like a circle. And then this was one of their displays where you can see a variety of the new bags. I came here to see the D-Joy. So this is the D-Joy in the black. I think this is lambskin. Retails for around 6,100 Canadian. I liked it. I didn't think it was like really my vibe. It's a little bit too, I don't know, too preppy or not too preppy, but like too structured or formal or there's just like too many bells and whistles. It's not, it's not casual enough for me. I really loved this beige color. It was a really pretty, it was a very cool tone. And then they also had this really nice orange. Oh, I like the orange. Mm -hmm. It's very bright. So next I'm trying on, I don't know what this bag is called. I think it's just like when they were trying to do that, like at leisure type, type situation. But this one I did not like at all. Felt really cheap. But she brought out a few different sizes. This mini one I actually thought was super cute. And it was really, it looked really nice on. The one thing is that it was over 3,000, and I was like, uh, no, no, that's a no for me. Super cute though, but yeah, it like, it, it did fit a phone actually. It did fit my phone, so you know, it actually could fit all of the daily essentials because it's sort of chunky. It looks small, but it's quite chunky. This orange one was nice as well. You know, I've never really looked at Dior bags. I feel like their prices are just like a bit too much for me and I just prefer the designs of some other brands but this little one was super cute here it is on I really like the bottom has some feet as well as plastic so you can really protect it next we quickly go to Balenciaga look at this green crystal bag situation oh, so pretty Also the Kegels. I actually really like this style. Um, I would maybe eventually consider picking one up. I do like them. I think they're really cute, very casual, easy to wear. 
they come in a variety of sizes, which I like as well. This blue is really nice. Here's some sale, quite a bit of Chloe on sale. I couldn't see any of the prices though. This is, seems like new Chloe as well. I mean, I don't really see anyone with those bags. Next, we quickly went to the men's section. This Stone Island jacket was very interesting visually, but it felt terrible, honestly. It felt so cheap, like a, like a tarp. Some other Bottega bags. These were really cute, very soft. Couldn't find the pricing on them though. Some Valentino. We'll see the women's version of this later, so stay tuned for that. And then some Louboutin. This pastel pink, purple, and blue is really big this season. I see it sort of everywhere across all the houses. They're all doing lavenders and blush pinks. Next, we go to Coach. So a lot of you actually talk about Coach, and I haven't given it a chance in a while. I used to buy quite a few Coach bags, but then recently I haven't. These are so cute. Look how tiny this is, a little baby. And this one is actually really nice. I think this is the Robe 25. It's in like this sunflower color. Very pretty. These Boston bags were also quite cute. And then I actually had this size and like exactly like this, but everything was green instead of blue and I actually sold it. Kind of regret selling it now. I wish I still had it, but it was a few years ago anyways. I actually really like the Rogue style. I might, you know, eventually pick one up again. I think they went up in price drastically since I got mine a few years ago. I remember I got mine and it was around like 300 and now they're... I think they're into the thousands. Here's the Pride collection. Happy Pride Month, everybody. I don't see myself with any of this, unfortunately. It's very, it's loud. You know, it's quite, it's quite loud, um, as it should be. This was super cute, but it was like $700. I was like, coach, what, coach, what are these prices? This is like, that's like Celine prices for a t-shirt. So I was like, mm, coach girl, I don't know about your pricing. Also Disney, they had a whole display. It was very cute. I liked these slides, adorable. My partner was asking if Disney and coach were like affiliated in some way, but uh, no, I think they're just a collab. Also, oh, I haven't seen this one in person. I loved it super cute this yellow is totally me i could really see myself with this bag i couldn't find a price though and it does look bigger on the outside than it is on the inside so i don't think i will be getting it and i feel like it had its moment like its moments come and gone it was really big last year but this year i don't really see anyone talking about it just before we go, some other rogue styles. I really like the browns and the grays. Very, very pretty. Next, we quickly go to Sandro just to try to find my partner some jeans. Um, but while there, I did see some of their clothing, which is quite nice. And also some of their bags, which I'll show shortly. This one was really cute. I like the style, quite small. The one thing is these are ridiculous to get into. I'm like, how the hell do I get into this bag? Literally took me so long. I was on the struggle bus trying to get this bag open. And then once I got it open, I was like, okay. Suede so on the inside, very cute. Retails for around 370, which is like a pretty good price for an all other bag. They also had this raffia version. Um, I quite liked it, but I didn't like the purple accents. I don't know. You know, why they did that I guess as I mentioned before it's like the color of the season the mechanism to open is kind of tricky but this is what it looks like purple suede on the inside and this one was 415 I also had this men's belt bag it looked really nice quality actually I quite liked it I don't really see myself buying any of these bags but it was cute
Now we're at Nordstrom. They had this whole Versace display. What do we think of Versace? I've seen everybody and their mother talk about Fendace, but not me. Also, there's so many Disney collabs lately. They're just collabing with everybody. Here's the new Givenchy bags. They had this one, which was really cool. It had like a leather spider web around it, like a cage. Also, this like curry yellow one was very interesting. What do you think of this bag? Let me know below. I don't think these ones are doing well though. Now we have some Marc Jacobs. These ones are super popular. The snapshots, I quite like them. And then obviously the famous, the tote bag. I believe this is the medium size. And then that's the mini in the Aspen green. Julie from Agent Bag Reviews has this and it's super cute. I like it a lot. And then also the purple. I quite like the green. Seeing the leather one in person, I wasn't as blown away. But yeah, and now some Valentino. These Roman Rockstead ones are actually really nice. The leather was very, very buttery soft. Jess um, over at Dolled Up by Jay, she has one. Love her bags. She's big on the Valentino. I loved the colors that they did. Um, I don't know if I see myself with any of these bags, to be honest, but I really liked the colors that they all came in and the leather felt really luxurious and nice for, for what you get. I feel like you get a lot of bag for the money. Also, that yellow behind is so, so cute. We'd be there 4.45. So, did you even leave like 4.45? Yeah, I think so. Here is a different display. Lots of crystals. These are giving very Pride Month. Look at all the rainbow. And then these ones are very similar to my Mimi bag, actually. Like a long baguette ish style and that's everything thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe and i hope to see y'all next time bye guys